What's up guys? Welcome back! <laughs> That's very, are you ready? I'm ready! <laughs> I'm super ready! <laughs> no, then we should have put the super ready on top of it. Oh. I'm super ready. No, yes, I'm ready. Okay, one of the most anticipated uh, videos of the year was carbon fiber. Uh, I got these carbon fibers uh, online. I think I paid between 30, 40 dollars each panel. Just for you bring a little closer. So that's how you know they're legitimate when something this small costs a lot of money. And um, I couldn't find one that is thicker. I don't know if there is one. I'm sure they make some that are thicker, but this is about maybe two millimeters or three millimeters thick. What do you think this is? Three millimeters or two? Uh, yeah, two about three. two millimeters thick. And there's three of them. And I have no idea what's gonna happen if I shoot it uh, with the 22 or 9 millimeter. I have a feeling the 9 might go through all of them, but we don't know. I'll just, uh, we're gonna have to shoot it. I didn't bring any large calibers because I actually didn't think it was gonna uh, stop larger calibers. So I'm just gonna start with the 22 and work our way up, see what happens. Um, anything else? No, that's it. Let's get started. So for the first round, we're gonna start with the 22 long rifle. This is 40 grain, and I'm gonna be using a Walter P22. That's buddy. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh my ears. You know what? I'm double ready. <laughs> well, I should have put for the next T-shirt. We're gonna put I'm double ready. <laughs> You know what? This might uh, ricochet back because it's solid. It's uh, mounted over there. And if it doesn't go through, it's gonna come back and hit me. Just go back a little bit. So, let's hit it. No way, it didn't go through. It cracked it on the edge. I need to fix the sights on this uh, 22. It keeps going to the left every time I, I point a uh, center. And actually, yeah, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it's not even centered, the back sights. It needs to go to the right. That's why it's been doing that this whole time. Okay, so I'm just gonna aim it more on the right. Re goes back in the picture as always. Rigo! Move! Rigo! Ven aquí! <laughs> ven aquí! Let's go. Let's go. Go! <laughs> okay, some of you guys have commented and are new to the channel. Rigo is actually deaf, he can't hear. And no, it's not because we were shooting and he went deaf. Um, he's an old dog, 13 years old, but he went deaf. It's kind of windy. Poor dog. He went deaf about like four years ago, so uh, that's why he sticks around every time we do shooting. He's one of the dogs that can't hear, so he, it doesn't bother him at all. Um, the other dogs always run away. They're, they don't stick around as soon as they see us coming. Right, Rigo? People love you. Any comment? <laughs> okay, round two for the 22. I'm gonna aim a little bit to the right, just buddy. And as you saw, it would ricochet back, and I knew it was gonna do that. Oh, funny, Rigo's coming too. Come on, Rigo. Okay, just buddy, ready? I'm ready. Rigo, are you ready? Ready. Fire and all. <laughs> I aimed it uh, to the right, and that came kind of center. Clear. Yep, it stopped it. Right over there, I don't know if, it's kind of hard to record. And this is the back, nothing happened. It did uh, chip the surface, but nothing major. Not bad. I thought it'll at least go through one or two panels. Okay. Now that we know it stopped the 22, we can move on to the next caliber. The next one I think will go through all of it. Okay, so for the next round we're gonna do 380 and we're using a Glock 42. Just ready? Let's go back. 
and this is a hollow point it's not a full metal jacket I thought I grabbed the one but I didn't oh well most people use hollow points for self-defense anyway when they carry something small like this Rigo you okay over there Clear. See, all you do is just, it's so little, you just put it in your back pocket. You can't even tell. Oh, man. Center shot. That's how accurate my Glocks are. <laughs> Unlike that Walter P22. So, went in. Looks like it came out. And at first, I thought maybe this would be a fake carbon fiber, but it's not. You can see the fibers in there. Right over there, see that? I don't know how it's gonna show on the camera later because it's shiny, it's black, it's dark. And it hit the second one, did not come out of the second one, and it ricocheted somewhere around here. Now, if it was full metal jacket, maybe it would have gone through more. Oh well. Okay, so let's move to the nine millimeter, and I think that will do it. Jasper, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. For this next round, it's gonna be our good old nine millimeter full metal jacket, 115 grain. And for some of you guys that are new, when I talk about the grain and how much something is, the top part here is the bullet and that's how much it weighs. So uh, it's 115 grain and that's how it works. Long time ago, I used to think the grain is the gunpowder, how much gunpowder is inside the uh, casing, but I was wrong. I learned that <laughs> real quick. Uh, okay, let's. Oh, and then we're gonna be using a Glock 19X. I haven't shot this too many times, but honestly, I really like the grip, the way it just holds in your hand, how stable it is. I think I kind of like this one more than my Glock 19, but again, that was my first love, so um, I don't wanna be cheating on my Glock 19. <laughs> Rigo, you ready? He is ready. ready. <laughs> okay. Well, we know it's not gonna ricochet because the 380 went in, so. That's very, here we go. Fire and all. So went in, the first one. Went a little bit to the left. I'm gonna have to double check the sights on that Glock 19X because it seems like uh, they're all going to the left a little bit. So I'll double check that. I don't know if it's me or the handgun, but they went in, came out. Went inside the second one, came out of the second one. But it stopped on the third one. It cracked it in half. I don't know if you can see it, but it stopped. That's where it was supposed to come out, it didn't, and it hit right over there. Good news, bad news is, that's the largest caliber I brought, was the nine millimeter. I didn't honestly think the nine millimeter, these were gonna stop a nine millimeter. I thought for sure, it's gonna go through all of them. So one thing we can try now is maybe put them all together, combine them instead of, and then shoot them multiple rounds, see if they'll destroy the water or not. Right, Jasper, is that a good idea? Yeah. Okay, because I didn't bring something bigger. I didn't think it was gonna go. So put them together, like that. Okay, round two for the nine millimeter. Maybe this time we'll go through. Rigo, you look like a wolf waiting for his prey, be hiding behind those uh, weeds. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ah, uh, the third one did it. We are clear.
Here's the first one. Went in, came out, out of the back. The second one also came out. Come on, that's the first one. That one. No, this was the cracked one. Yeah, you put it in the front. Check your camera. There's no way, because the bullet is here. Huh? <laughs> the bullet is in here, stuck. <laughs> you put this one in the front. Right? I did? Yeah. Okay, I don't remember. Oh, there's a... Is that a bullet? No. It just pushed it. Even three rounds with that 9mm didn't go all the way through. Oh, they they take the cap. Okay, I messed up, Jasperi, I know, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much, some of them ricocheted, but one of them got stuck right here. Jasperi, bring it closer. I don't want to drop it. Okay, one of them got stuck right over there. You think this was the first one? If this was the first one, they stopped the bullet better being together than separated. So I think the only way to find out is let's do this test again because they're not super damaged. There's a the bullet right over there. I don't know if the camera will show which one was the first one, but remember on the last shot where I had them separated, this was the last one. So I don't know if I brought this to the front or not, but the bullet is stuck right over here. <laughs> there it is. Wow, it got stuck right in there. That's where you see it? Yeah. Wow. Not bad. They're stopping the bullets pretty good, right? Okay, let's uh... Man, I should have brought something bigger. <laughs> this is gonna be a two uh, second version to this. Or should we not destroy them anymore and just make this a second video? Honestly, even if I was to use a 45, will stop it. A 40, it'll probably stop it. So I don't know. I'm actually pretty shocked and surprised that it stopped it after that many rounds. It kept its integrity pretty good, even after that many shots. First shot, second shot, three shots after that. Pretty tough stuff. Uh, we're going to come back and revisit this video with different... Uh, guns maybe we'll do um desert eagle 44 magnum and then the 500 smith and wesson and also what i might do is cut these in half and make it even uh, stronger than what it is now so we'll cut them and make them six layers instead of uh, three layers and challenge them with the 500 and uh desert eagle the 50 ae and the 44 magnum and maybe even a 460. you never know maybe we'll throw in maybe we'll even throw in some rifle rounds Okay, well we know what happens to 22, 380 and a 9mm and the 9mm is actually pretty good in penetrating. Okay, that's it for the video. Don't forget to go check out our website and if you want just order the t-shirt. It's going to be actually a pre-order, I forgot to mention that. So it's not going to be a fast turnaround, it's going to be maybe two weeks to three weeks turnaround because uh, we don't want to just order a whole bunch of them. We'll just see how many we need and we'll order them and send them to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Go just buddy. Don't, don't move, don't move. What? You want a like, uh, picture of the I'm ready? <laughs> you got it? You're getting good at that zooming in, zooming out. Okay. You got it? You got your shot? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give, show, uh, give some Rigo shots. I'm the hiding in the... Uh... No, you do this. I don't know, my super bad, let's see.